Can this Minix device with built-in Windows 8.1 change the game? Find out in this review. A video review of Minix Neo Z64. And make sure you guys visit minix.com.hk. Now here's the latest device from Minix called the Z64. Now let's take a look at what's under the hood. The Windows Z64 comes with an Intel 64-bit CPU and plus the Intel HD graphics along with a 2GB DDR3L and a storage space of 32GB EMC. Now the build quality of the Z64 is impressive. Minix stays true to the look of each of their device. This has that smooth surface feeling, leathery feel to it on this square shaped device and it being fanless, the Z64 is sealed with no air coming in or out. Now the only holes you'll see on the Z64 is the ports on this device. Now on the right side of this device you'll find a power button. A micro SD slot up to 32GB and two USB 2.0 ports. Now on the back of this Minix device you will get a stereo jack input, HDMI port, Ethernet port, a power port and, a, and it's Bluetooth ready and Wi-Fi 802.11n. Now it's known that the Z64 boots up less than 20 seconds and believe me it's true. Now that you've seen that startup Welcome, the very first Minix device that comes preloaded with Windows 8.1. Now I know what you're thinking, can I upgrade this to Windows 10 when it comes out? Well, it, it can stated by Minix. Now if you're looking for creating a home theater with a capability of Windows, then the Z64 is for you. You can use this like a regular computer to browse the internet, use to finish that PowerPoint project, and even play games. Well, not PC game I must say. This is a low-end device that probably primarily used for social network, stream movies and music, and occasional mobile uh, gaming to play. Now when I internet browse with the Windows 8.1 Z64, it loads up really fast and quickly. Uh, really no time, it just loads as you can see right there. And the pictures load up and everything else and the video and links loads up. Now here I am trying it on the uh, internet browser with YouTube and a video playing which is right now playing on 720p which I'll change it right now to uh, let's go ahead and change it to 1080p as you can see it loaded up pretty quickly and I am running on Wi-Fi right now on the Minix Z64 as you can see the the video plays and then I'm gonna do the uh, make the window larger as you can see it's seamless the video plays seamlessly and then at the Microsoft Store, which you can get games, social media, uh, entertainment, and everything else um, you could install with this device. But do keep in mind that it's a 32 gigabyte uh, storage space, which you have a micro SD. And I'm pretty sure you can uh, attach an external um, hard drive as well. Now I went ahead and installed a few apps and a game to showcase what the Z64 can do under Windows. As you can see I'm playing a game right now which I have a USB keyboard attached to the, the Minix device and you can use a gaming controller and you can use the Minix A2 controller that they offer as well. Now the game played fine and amazing. I'm going to go ahead and skip to a YouTube app that I downloaded on the Microsoft Store. As you can see, visually stunning 1080p playback capability on the Z64. As you can see, I'm skipping ahead and keep in mind that I am on Wi-Fi and it streams really fast and buffers less. Now as you can see, I have installed the Kodi on the Z64 on this and I'm running 14.2 which is the latest one and as you can see it's really fast and smooth I'm gonna go ahead and show you and showcase what the capability of their uh, Kodi on the Z64 as you can see the the metadata loads up pretty fast and it's so impressive it's really really fast I I'm really digging the the Z64 as you can see I'm scrolling with ease and let's go ahead and choose a trailer Let's go ahead and choose this one. 
let that load for a second and we're gonna go ahead and watch the previous trailer we just seen earlier and but it's running on the Kodi app, um, app as you can see it's 1080p AAC audio 2.0 and the stream is really quick and as you can see uh, the visual is impressive I'm gonna go ahead and skip like I did before on the other videos as you can see um, it streams really fast and really uh, really good no buffering it's just one few second me here I am doing fast forward and rewind as you can see now the infamous big bucks bunny add-on that I like to test on all the devices here's a real-time video streaming online all 1080p uh, 5.1 surround sound and it's purity as you can see I hit buffering issue right now that's because um, the cache is building in uh, I haven't used this device for a, a little bit um, as you can see it's cache full but as you can see it's running 1080p Dolby Digital 5.1 and it streams uh, amazingly as you can see and it's smooth and then I had no problem with the audio as well it, it caught up at the same time now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip ahead to see how how fast it'll catch up like the previous video as you can see when it's real 5.1 Dolby digital surround sound it does tend to a little buffer but uh, as you can see the audio and the video I know you can't hear it right now but it, it catches on uh, quickly now let's go ahead and go to uh, another video resolution that I always like to test which is a 4k video now keep in mind um, I do not have a 4k uh, TV or monitor so this will just simulate uh, as you can see the buffering just quickly so you can see 4k 30 frames per second Dolby digital 5.1 and it's streaming online this is not a video that I have stored on this device on the Minix Z64 this is all online and it's so impressive that I'm on Wi-Fi and if I plug this this on Ethernet then it'd be no problem at all now I'm gonna go ahead and skip and see if it catches on quickly as you can see it did buffer a little bit and it catched on now the audio with the 4k it's sinking and so far and let's go ahead and try the 60 frames per second which the audio and the video doesn't really catch on I know you won't be able to hear the audio that's because um, some YouTube right so as you can see 4k 5.1 60 frames per second and it's really smooth uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip a little bit uh, fast forward again as you can see the audio on here I know you can't hear it but it, it's it's not there uh, that might be just the video or that might be the device so it, it it all varies now my final verdict on the Minix Z64 Windows version well I'm very impressed if I had a rating system it would be 9 out of 10 now the reason being is it is fanless I'm really worried about how heavy usage of this device I can use it on uh, and other uh, users uh, there's heavily playing video games probably and lots of video streaming and internet and etc that that other than that that's the only thing uh, I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a home theater uh, to be uh, in your living room with the capability of internet browsing and streaming uh, online videos to Netflix YouTube uh, Kodi or uh, any other videos that you have and it's really impressive and I really thank Minix for um, letting me review this and I hope you like it you visit minix.com.hk for more information make sure you get the neo a2 with this device if you like the video you have just seen make sure you subscribe to us and like our video at youtube.com slash xbm connect and make sure you follow us at xbm connect to all the social medias